So today's video is about mites, um, broad mites, flat mites, there's all different names for them and I've only actually really been paying attention to the information out there about these very recently. Stop, stop, stop. Like I, the minute I try to do a video, the two of them start playing. Do you hear them here? Okay, one, well, you two, out. Out. Okay, let's put them out. So Adam from Not Dude has done an, an extensive video on this, so I will put a link to his. But I just wanted to share my experience. So let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Gronya and this is my channel, Jungle Flowers Canada. Thank you so much for joining me. So. I put up a Hoya video, actually I think it was a couple of months ago, and one of my viewers, Jacqueline, um, if, you're, if you're watching Jacqueline, thank you so much, Van Horn, I believe is her surname, wrote to me and said, you know what, I think you have these flat mites. Now Paula had mentioned it to me the last time I was here, I said I had a Finlaysonii that has never grown, and I, you know, I sort of, you know, I, I remember her saying it to me, but I didn't take any action. Okay, so when this lady wrote to me, I thought, Okay, well maybe I will take a look. And I th believe that the plant she was talking about was this Latifolia. So can you see here, there is a lot of really knobbly growth. Now the roots are fine. Okay, I have the plant quite a long time, um, probably eight or nine months, and it has done absolutely nothing. So when I started to research it, this was one of the symptoms that people spoke about. So I thought, okay, let's do a little bit of research. So I watched Adam's video and he recommended using sulfur. Now Adam dilutes the sulfur and sprays it all over the leaves, but you always hear me talk about my wonderful friend Paula. She actually just takes the dry sulfur with a little paintbrush and she paints it over the stems and the areas where she feels there might be mites. And she said that it's working for her. And I thought that's so much easier. I hate spraying my plants because the spray gets everywhere. So I decided to use that method. So I also purchased this magnifying, or microscope I should say. Now, I looked closely at my plants and I am gonna put some pictures up here and I couldn't actually see mites. Adam shows mites, like act, an active mite infestation on his, mite infestation on his. I couldn't see any on mine. I did see an ever so slightly, maybe two or three little red dots but they, you know, it, they weren't, looked like they weren't moving, so I don't know if it was just a coincidence or whether they actually were mites, but there certainly was no infestation. However, I thought it's not going to do any harm to treat them. So I had another one that, this is the one that I've had this, oh my gosh, I don't know how long I've had this Hoya Finlaysonii, and there's two little plants in here, I don't know if you can see, but I've actually put sulfur on this, but, it just was not growing for me. It was doing absolutely nothing. And it has those telltale knobbly bits as well. So it would put out a new leaf and then the leaf would die. Let me come back a little bit till I show it to you. And like I, I've had it for so long now and I've kind of just given up the ghost on it, but it, like it never died. It just kept putting out really funny leaves that would that would die and fall away. So I again looked at this and thought, okay, you know what, that seems to be very symptomatic of mites. Again, I couldn't see any through my microscope, but I did treat it with sulfur. So let's talk about sulfur. Sulfur on Amazon is very expensive. It's a total ripoff. I think it's like $25 for a bottle of, or for yeah, a container of Safer's sulfur. And I saw it in Canadian Tire for, I think it was like $14.99. I will put a link and it's the same size container. You can also buy sulfur in Lowe's for $8.99. So Paula had bought two, so she gave me this one. Um, here, let me just show you. I actually don't know where she bought it. Possibly Vandermeer's. It looks like maybe a Vandermeer sticker. And this was $8.99. See there? $8.99. So guys, do not be paying $25 for your sulfur. It's a total ripoff. And obviously the algorithm is showing that people are looking for sulfur, so it has 
inflated the price. Go to your local garden centre, your local hardware store, and you'll pick it up for a fraction of the cost. So what are flat mites? Flat mites are microscopic. You cannot see them with the naked eye. And they, as I said, they do not affect the roots, but they attack new growth. If you're noticing that you're having a lot of failed nodes on your Hoya, there's a good chance that this is what's causing it. Do you need to make the investment in this? Like this wasn't expensive. This isn't the wireless one. This one plugs into the computer, which suits me perfectly. I have my laptop here and I have the big screen so I can look at it. And I think this was, I was on sale for $27. You can get a wireless one of these for like 40 or $50. Um, it's just your own preference. Obviously, if you get a wireless one, you can use your phone. At uh, this one, I have to use my laptop, but the aging eyes, the laptop is actually better. So they are red, they're teeny, teeny, tiny, almost like um, a little tiny spider. And they, they just suck the life out of new growth. And they, where, where they won't kill the plant. I guess if you had enough of them, they could kill the plant. But they go after new growth and that's when you get distorted leaves, leaves falling off, all that sort of stuff. So if you're noticing some problems with your plants, I would say go take a look at them. Do you need to buy this? Probably not. I would just look for the telltale signs and treat them with the sulfur. Now the reason, another reason why I did buy this is because it will be handy for me if I'm checking for thrips and stuff like that. Um, because it obviously is going to magnify the leaf and I'll be able to see better. But uh, I figured for $27.99 it was worth the purchase, but I would, I would actually say it's not necessary. If you don't want to buy one, don't bother. So I would say, you know, if you don't want to buy the microscope, just get yourself some sulfur and apply it to your plants. It's not going to hurt them. So I'm going to bring you down now and I'll show you how I looked for the mites and how I treated them. I'll put the camera there and hopefully you can see. And I just plugged in the microscope. I do have some snapshots from last night. Now, it is a bit of, it requires a bit of finagling to get used to where to position the microscope because I believe it works backwards. So it's like a mirror image. And even though I know that, I still struggle. So I went online and I downloaded the app. Okay, so there is a stand on it, but the stand isn't high enough. So, Okay, I don't know if you can see. I did get it clearer last night. I don't know why it's not so clear today. Let's just try focusing in a little bit more. Hey okay, guys, I know this is very shaky, but there is a zoomed in image of the stems. So, I hope you can see clearly, but let me just try. I could not see any red mites. Can you see there? So as you can see guys, it's actually not that easy to do, but I'm having less success than I had last night. And I will put up pictures of what I saw. When you uh, get it to focus on what you're looking for, there is a button you can press that takes a picture of it. That's not very clear, but I can take a picture and you can see the photo there. Okay, so when you shut it down, then your picture is here. So there, yeah, so there's a picture that I just took. So you can see there are no red mites there. I will put this up. I will put this up on the screen for you to see. So how do I treat the, the mites? This is how Paula has suggested and it worked for her so I decided I would do the same. So you just get a little container and you put some of your sulfur in. It smells guys. You're going to have smell of sulfur up your nose all day because I had it yesterday. <laughs> but um, maybe it would be best to wear gloves when you're doing this. But basically just take your sulfur and just apply it all over the stem of the plant where the mites hang out. Now with the Phyllisonia, I, I actually put it on the leaves as well, but Paula was saying she doesn't think you need to put it on the leaves because it's actually the stems that they chew. And that's it. Now, some people say repeat every week, some people say repeat every two weeks. 
Um, I'm probably going to do it maybe every two weeks or so. I'll just add some more. Uh, obviously, if you're going, if you're watering your plants and you wash off the sulfur, then I would say reapply it. Okay, guys, another quick video. Um, so I will put links in the description of where you can get the sulfur at a much cheaper price. As I say, do not buy it on Amazon. It's way too expensive. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you watched until the end, don't forget to put the green heart emoji in the comments. And thank you so much for joining me. You take care and have a wonderful day.